Hi everyone, welcome to this week's tech tip. Today is going to be a short one. We're going to cover the disallow join option in MWF. So uh, I think most of us know that we do have this option as well in Revit. You can simply click on the wall and disallow join as well. But we also have this option within MWF too. Um, so as we know here, if we look at it, the example, we know that a Revit tends to join automatically all the walls. And that's why once we go ahead and create the panels, they're going to be clashing by default unless we either use a join marker to rearrange those corners or uh, we just disallow join and we drag some of those walls back. So uh, let's say I'm going to select these two walls here. So I'm going to select this one and then this one as well. And I'm going to come here to my joins menu and the, the last option will be called disallow join. So I'm going to click on this one and you will see that it will give you some options. You can either do it by selection. So you can select specific walls where you want to disallow uh, the join, just like what I'm doing right here. Or you can go by current view or by level. So it's going to be up to you. If you'd like, you could disallow join for all of your walls at the same time for a specific level or for the entire project. So for now, uh, we're going to use by selection and I'm going to click OK. And what it will do is it will simply just disallow the, the wall, the Revit wall. And from there, you can go ahead and drag it back maybe and rearrange it in a way that once you regenerate the panel, the, the panels will not be clashing anymore. And then the same for this one. Let's say if I select these walls. And again, I go there to disallow join by selection and OK. And then maybe I could drag this one all the way and maybe drag this one back here. And then I can manually adjust that corner with my Revit walls instead of using the join markers. So you have these two options to arrange your corners, either by using the join markers or by disallowing join and dragging back the wall so you can have the correct configuration. And that's it for today. See you guys next week.